Hello. Hello. So you're Igor Tolstikin, senior scientist at the Russian Academy of Sciences. So Igor, can you briefly describe what you call yourself, your life in science? Not a <laughs> career path, your life in science. Um, uh, in 1961, I entered a, a laboratory of geochronology in St. Petersburg, which was headed by Professor Eric Gerling. Mm -hmm. And it was the beginning of my life in, in science. Um, we have about 30 colleagues, everybody work hard and we have very uh, friendly uh, atmosphere there, uh, quite different from uh, what was uh, happened in the country. Uh, we were, it was very liberal atmosphere really and we very much enjoyed it. And uh, until now I consider this first 20 years in this laboratory as the most happy time. Okay. Uh, in the late 60s, uh, my colleague Kamensky, Igor Kamensky, and we start working in Physical Technical Institute, Yoffe Institute, uh, in laboratory of mass spectrometry headed by Boris Mamirin. It was my ne next teacher, teacher of physics. Uh -huh. And we uh, made there very um, a unique time of flight magnetic resonance mass spectrometer uh, which uh, show quite high sensitivity and resolution and we apply this mass spectrometer to measure a helium isotope composition in terrestrial material okay. and soon after we started we discovered helium with ex in volcanic emanation from Kuril Islands with extremely high abundance of light uh, helium-3 isotope it was just discovery of solar helium inside the Earth. And uh, when I interpreted this data, I realized that uh, we can also use tritium uh, decay, which produced helium-3, and thus proposed uh, tritium-helium-3 dating. Another large branch in Earth science, which was later very much populated. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is probably um, the early stage of my career, then I worked about six years in, uh, in, in Europe okay. uh, 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 and then returned to Russia and continue my work with noble cases but also with many other topics. Okay. okay. Now Igor, what do you think is your greatest career accomplishment? Um, uh, I uh, uh, never made career as career, you yes. know. And better I will uh, answer uh, similar questions. Which uh, my scientific contribution I consider as most important. Okay. Uh, since early uh, contributions, early paper, which we all, uh, I already mentioned in a uh, 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 previous short uh, story, um, uh, I would like to say that I uh, very much enjoy to work with other scientists, not alone. And by, you know, uh, help of destiny, I say, I met Jan Kramers yes. uh, and we work uh, uh, together uh, almost 20 years. And one paper with Jan, uh, I uh, consider about lead isotopes, I consider is quite good and many other people also, because it is well referred paper. Mm -hmm. Also, I would like to say that another paper with Jan, Go with Al Goffman, uh, 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 the uh, early crust on the top of core, was also quite good and cited often. But some contribution, which I also consider as good and uh, uh, pioneer new, are not very well, you know, <laughs> appreciated by scientific community. Uh, as in art, in science you need time. Yes. And after some time, real estimate should come. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, as, a, as concerns the most complicated and foul and time-consuming paper, my, how to say, <laughs> lovely child. This is, of course, our book with Jan Kramers, The Evolution of Matter. Okay.
So what would you say are some of your biggest challenges then? Um, my favorite writer, Mikhail Bulgakov, Bulgakov, wrote in his famous Roman Master and Margaret that you should never ask help from the powerful persons. Okay. And this was very close to my heart, you know. I really follow this advice all my life. And I thought that if I work hard and do reasonably good sci science, then once upon a time I will have a good laboratory equipment, people who are able to help and run this equipment, better condition to work, in other words, okay. right? Uh, this idea was, you know, not productive, I say, and I fail here. In Russia, you should serve to powerful people, not to science as it is. Uh -huh. And uh, so, all my life and now I use very old, very poor equipment and we cannot really produce the experimental data which are compatible with what is going on in Europe and in USA. Hmm. So today, Igor, you are very successful and widely recognized scientist and actually this year you have received the EAG URA medal. What do you think were the main contributors to you being where you are now? Oh, I have a lot of contributors, <laughs> very many. And first of all, I would like to say that I was born in a family, in scientific family. My uh, parents, my, my father was a hydrologist and my mother geologist and both were on the top of Russian science. So from the very beginning, I grew up uh, uh, in a very creative scientific atmosphere, I would say. Okay. Then in contrast to many, I have not one but three teachers. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Eric Gerling, uh, mm -hmm. I already mentioned, Boris Mamerin, but also Yuri Shukalukov. Mm -hmm. So they teach me a lot altogether. <laughs> also, as, uh, again, as I already mentioned, I like to, uh, to work with people, okay. not alone. Yeah. And among my Russian colleagues, I would like to thank now Igor Kaminsky and Boris Polek, with whom I work many decades already. Then, again, by fate of destiny, I uh, uh, stay uh, uh, several years in Europe. And, uh, uh, of course, my uh, long collaboration with Jan Kramers was extremely important for me. Also, my work, of course, benefit from collaboration with uh, Al Hoffman, mm -hmm. Keith Anayans, uh, Bernard Marty, Hugo Lusli, and I continue my contact with European and Ameri American scientists still now and hope to some future yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So finally, as a last question, what advice would you give to someone interested in pursuing a life in science? Uh, my advice to young scientists is to work er as hard as possible in order to achieve new important scientific results. Mm -hmm. And all other should come somehow mm -hmm. if you succeeded in this. Okay. And as concerned uh, administrative position, etc. I cannot give you any advice, yes. anybody a any advice, because I never ever have such position myself. Yes. Okay. But work hard is the word of wisdom. Then. <laughs> yes. Work hard. Think. Always keep problems in your mind, uh -huh. and solutions will come unexpectedly often. Ah. Often will come unexpect unexpectedly. Okay. You should keep ideas and problems uh, 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 in your head mm, always, in, independently or whether you sit in, in your office or walk or listen music. Mm -hmm. And sometimes solution will come. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Igor, for your time today. Thank you. Yeah, I please forgive it. Thank you. <laughs>